So, what's going on guys? It's your boy Blurry Day back with another Blurry unboxing. I just got two new uh, stuff today in the mail. Uh, this is one of them. If you haven't checked the previous two reviews, please go check check those out. So today, uh, this came straight from HBO Max. And no, it's not the Snyder Cut of Justice League, which we all wish we had in our hands right now. But uh, here, I do have a Snyder Cut of... DC's Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, another Ultimate Edition, or the Director's Cut. Now, um, Warner Brothers, or Zack, or DC, whoever is in charge of this right now, um, who released this, um, if you're still gonna call it the Ultimate Edition, just put, like, slap, like, a HBO Max, like, printed thing on the case, say like um oh this has better like IMAX shots and all that because um Zach released this as you know to extend the shots and make the coloring better um this I still need to watch you know just because you know what what people are saying so you only get the 4k ultra HD and digital code which is this the first time for 4ks I don't know I still have the uh other copies of this movie. I got the uh, original 4K and I got the 3D version. If you want to go check those out. Yeah, uh, no slipcover. That's pretty sad. Um, what's different here is that like, oh, like the DC logo is right and you get the OG like Warner Brothers logo. Um, I mean it looks like you get bonus features in here. Um, no other 4K has done that, so, of course it's rated R, because it's a director's cut, it's three hours long. Honestly, guys, I think anybody can watch this, just because, even though it's rated R, they only did this just because they didn't release 30 extra minutes of footage in the theater, and the story makes sense, and, uh, it's not really that graphic, so, yeah. There's a disc, uh, there's a code if you guys want it. I don't really care. <laughs> so yeah, the disc here is red, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's um, DC's Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, the director's cut, the 4K re-release for 2021. Like I said, guys, I freaking love this movie so much. Um, it's still one of my all-time favorites right now, because I haven't seen the Snyder Cut yet, and I, I can't say whether if it's my favorite or not, so, um, I'm just still gonna wait for a 4K release to come out. Alright guys, you know what to do, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ready. Please turn on the post notification bell if you haven't already. I got one more review to show you guys, and then that'll be it. Alright, again, thanks so much for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for buying me the Lord be with you guys, always love you guys. Peace out guys.